This is Twit. We have assembled the smartest, finest minds at Twit. Well, anyway, whoever was available on Monday to escape from the nuclear <laughs> reactor. We're at Reason, the escape room in San Francisco. It's a team building exercise. You ready to build a team, Megan Maroney? I am. Jason? Yeah, sure. You're ready? Colleen? Jerry? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you're taking this seriously. You brought a little GoPro with you? Let's meet the, uh, the Reason crew, all right? You built a nuclear reactor here and you're having trouble with a meltdown? Yes, we do. And we really need our he your help, sir. What's your name? My name is Karina. Hi, Karina. Hi. And you and Mike founded Reason? Yes, yes, we did. Two years ago? Yep. What is the point of this? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a mix. So one of the things that we really want to focus on is education. Um, because nowadays, you know, there are a lot of technologies on the market. And even here in Silicon Valley, people know about virtual reality, 3D printing, drones. But you don't really have the opportunity to experiment with them. You know, you have to buy them. And they're still pretty expensive. So we wanted to build a venue where people can easily get access to them and see if they like it, see what the whole fuss is about. And and also put it in a more engaging kind of experience. I think the meltdown is happening now. <laughs> Pull the rods. Okay. So um, this we're going to be using a lot of modern technology yes. in the process. Exactly. But it's also about working together as a team. Definitely. So it's definitely a team activity, um, and uh, it's all about coordinating, coordinating and problem solving. So unless. It's less about the puzzle aspect, so you have to solve a puzzle really hard for 30 minutes, and more about working together and see how you can bring different skills to achieve the mission that you have. Okay, so we don't have to be smart. <laughs> it helps, but uh, if you work really well as a team, that's going to be even better. Work as a team. Now, you, know, you guys have never done this before, <laughs> but here's our opportunity. What is the fastest, and we're going to do the nuclear reactor yes. room, right? There's two of them. What's yeah. the other one? The other one is crash site. That's an alien land crash site. Exactly. Oh yeah. boy. Yeah. That's for bigger groups. Yes. Okay. Definitely. And how big can a nuclear reactor be? So a nuclear reactor goes up to 15 players. Well, it's pretty big. Yeah. Two rooms. Yes. Yep. So how big is the alien landing? That one is even bigger. That can go to 20 plus. We so can even have 25 people in there at the same time. A company might bring a, a, a group in, you know, a team that works together, bring them in to help them kind of have exactly. some fun, but yep. also to facilitate them working together in the future. Yep. Cool. Exactly. What's the fastest anybody has ever saved the nuclear reactor? The fastest is 48 minutes. 48 minutes. Today's mission is a pretty standard sci-fi scenario. Basically, we have a nuclear reactor that was sabotaged and the meltdown sequence was initiated. So your mission today is to stop the meltdown from happening. Otherwise, and listen carefully here, you're not going to make it to dinner. <laughs> Very high stakes. But we've ordered Very sandwiches. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, so you really have to get out okay. if you want to make yeah. it to that. Yeah. <laughs> cool, so a few things to help you in your mission. As you guys know, this is a team activity. So working together is the most important thing in there. So make sure you communicate as much as possible. You divide and conquer, because you'll be able to work on multiple puzzles at the same time. You have unlimited hints, so feel free to ask for help. The team that got out in 48 minutes, did they ask for any they help? They did not have any hints. Yeah. Okay, well there's a standard we're setting here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, all right, but you ready no guys? Pressure. We're gonna do it, all right, everybody? All right, okay, okay, okay! I have very little confidence at this point. <laughs> oh, no, get in here! <laughs> we're in here now. Let's just hit this button and see what happens. Nothing is happening. These all smell, they have different smells. If you press the button, the smell what? comes out. Seriously? Apparently I have to put this on. Oh, wow. ah, this is, this is, I can't see a thing. Press the colored button. Sure. Nothing. All right, we've used 11 minutes, kids. We gotta make some progress. Oh. What the hell happened there? What was that? Is there anything that requires like a code to be entered? Okay. No. no one's listening to me. <laughs> is this a kaleidoscope? What is this? I mean, why would it be here? Why are we here? I've been going in there. Terrible! <laughs> I think we're gonna still try and do it ourselves. What does SSMT mean to anybody? We're in deep trouble here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh! Simple match is up to here. So this one goes first. Oh! <laughs> oh, we got a long way to go, kids. <laughs> Nothing's working. Nothing's working! Come on, guys, there's an incoming video transmission. Oh, it's an HTC Vive. Oh, do you have a password? How do you even get to that command? We got to 3D print something? No. You're putting password. That, that was all you. I just used my fingers to 
tent or something. Who's good at drones in here? Whoa, watch out, Jerry. We have 10 minutes and 50 seconds, boys and girls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is good. Yes. We're making progress. We might get out of here alive. We might. Oh, oh. Yes! yes. Nice. The next one is the other one. Yep. Give me the number. Done. Override terminal. Here we go. Ten seconds. Yellow. Blue. Okay. White. To restart the <laughs> <laughs> it is. It's gonna blow. Game over. Game over, man. Three, two, one. Oh! We were so close. No. What did we get wrong? Oh! oh my God! <laughs> it worked. Oh my God. <laughs> that was awesome. Oh my gosh. I'm still sweating. That was so much fun, Mike. I'm glad you had a good time. Thank. Oh. No, thank you for coming. Oh, I'm so glad we did this. We will not be a team after this. We hate each other. But, no, it was really fun. We didn't survive. I was maybe a little cocky when I said we'd get out in under 48 minutes. We barely made it, and that was with considerable help from Karina. But, but well, we didn't make it. We got out after it exploded. We got that a narrow escape. So, so usually what happens is the closer you get to the end, the yeah. faster, the more productive your team becomes. Yeah, that and, was true, right? right? We suddenly kind of clicked. Uh, I feel like I'm like Tom Cruise and the fireball from the reactor is following me down <laughs> as we run out the hall, right? We were that close. It exploded, but we made it out. So how did we do? Um, so I think uh, it's definitely a, a slower start. Um, <laughs> so you guys progressively became, I think you guys adapted to the game. Yeah. And uh, I would say you guys, uh, uh, as the game progressed, you guys work a lot faster. I think perhaps uh, you guys are getting more used to the environment. I'm also used to the way things are set up. Yeah. Um, and also, uh, you guys were, I think, communicating a lot more um, near the second half versus well, in the beginning. And we were overconfident because we didn't ask for clues for about an hour. That's and finally, Karina said, you better ask for some help. She That's actually came in the room and said... Can I help you? <laughs> that is uh, the game is actually designed uh, benchmark for around ten players, and you ah. guys actually attempted it with only five. So, so just a virtue of you guys getting uh, narrow escape with yeah. five players, I think that is a great accomplishment. I feel pretty range. good. I feel like, as, and I agree with you. We got better as time went by. Which one do people uh, have the most trouble with? So, um, what we see is really around the overall structure. Of, of organizing of the different the elements working. and how, yeah. how really how you optimize your resources, right? right? right. And that I think is, um, um, for example, when you get on the reactor com uh, control panel and you have just all these things that you have to really reset and how do you allocate which team member on which uh, right. aspect right. of the experience, that, that's really the hardest part. Right. The individual challenge themselves, I don't think either of them are particularly difficult. Um, oh, but you're wrong. <laughs> You're wrong. <laughs> Karina is a devil. She is a good puzzle designer. You got a, you, you got all the physical stuff. You're, what's neat is you're using a lot of technology. There's a drone. There's yep. a 3D printer. There's a virtual reality experience. So you really are getting a lot of interesting technologies in there. Absolutely. And around the drone part, so um, we we find that a lot of everybody's like really excited about drones, yeah. and uh, so we wanted to have a, a good drone experience. Awesome. And uh, so you know through you know the beginning of the reactor, um, once you uncover the drone uh, part of the game, uh, we actually you know help. Uh, we, we train every, uh, a new pilot every game. Yeah. And, uh, and Karina I think, came I think, in and, and, and I think there were no, casu no casualties today. Nobody died. No fatalities. <laughs> it happens to be a drone that... Look, at, I've crashed every drone I've ever owned. I didn't crash that one. Yes. So it's a good drone. It's a good drone. <laughs> it's a good drone. Mike, this is really fun. Thank you very much for inviting us. I really appreciate thank, it. Thank you, Leo. I think we'll be a, a bit actually closer to the team because of it. Thank you, Mike. Thanks appreciate so much. it.